you just a little bit of insight into a fee that you're going to see in franchising, and that's the royalty. Um, that's really how a franchisor is supposed to make their money. So we talked um, last week about a franchise fee up front, and that's kind of your pay to play, get you into the business, all your training, one-time fee to the franchisor. A lot goes into that. There's a lot of staffing and operations manuals, and that that fee gets used up pretty quickly by the franchisor, just getting you up up and into business. The franchise royalty is usually paid on a monthly basis to the franchisor, and it's a, usually a small percentage of gross revenue. So I've seen anywhere from four up to sometimes 20%. And early on, I ask that you not make a decision to go with a franchise based on their royalty. So, and the reason is you really don't know what you're getting for that royalty fee. And so find out what kind of monthly support, what kind of true tangible support am I getting from the franchisor for that royalty, okay? That's how they make their money. That's how they keep the management team. They keep the training up to date. They're trying to, you know, test new products and, and all those things that go into being a franchisor to support you as a business owner within that system. You want to pay a royalty. You want to keep that business and that franchisor supported in order for them to continue to support you and feed you information and really be that phone a friend when you need it. Um, to determine is it too high or too low early on in the process, you don't really know enough. If it's a concern to you as, as it's ongoing, it's a very simple question to ask. What do I get in return for the royalty fee? Go ahead and ask it. Hope that helps.